Hey, it's Alan Thompson here for another Tech Moment. We have several questions from our new teachers there coming into SCAS, and they wanted to know how to book resources via the Google Calendar. Well, to do this, first you need to launch your Google Chrome to get into aw.tdsb.owen.ca. Some teachers may find that when they go to the, the academic workspace, it may say you're at aw.3.0 support site. And our resident teachers here will go directly to our Scarborough Center for Alternative Studies academic workspace. In either case, if your SAP order says that you're a teacher here at SCAS, then you should be able to click on home and then my home and go right to the Scarborough Center for Alternative Studies. When you get to your academic workspace, you can click on Google Apps and then calendar and the calendar will launch. Typically you will go and see your calendar that you have currently active. Probably you're under your own name. You'll see in a few moments here. See right here Alan Thompson is currently checked in. <laughs> Look my schedule is completely blank. <laughs> How can that be happening? So moving on to book, let's say, our computer carts, our uh, computer on wheels, or cows, as they're also known, uh, we have several. We have uh, cart A, B, C, D, and E. We also have iPad carts, and you can book some of the computer labs that are currently available during this quadmaster. And we also have the library. And you will find this all under My Calendars all under my calendar so there's a little drop down there okay and these are the ones that you have current access to if you find that you are trying to book a resource like computer computer cart a for example and you don't see it there just simply like let me know at the IT office or um, Janet Sai also does that here um, so either one of us will be able to add you to the Google Calendar for that resource. Okay, so we got that away, put away. Now let's move on to how you actually assign, sign out an actual cart. I would recommend, there's several ways of doing it, and there's not a wrong way of doing this, but I recommend to focus on a calendar that you want to speak to or edit I would go on the, the hamburger menu or these are the three dots right here beside the calendar right, uh, left mouse click on it and click on display this calendar only or display this only okay so right now we're going to talk to cart C it checks it automatically and we can see that uh, we have some uh, teachers that have already booked the uh, cart C already which happens to be our Chrome cards believe it or not so let's see I want to book a um, period 3 tomorrow being uh, February the 22nd you just click on it with your left mouse button it brings up this little display here basically provides more details of it and you can click on the little pencil to edit this event this is an event that you're going to tell everyone that can see this calendar that you are going to book this particular resource for this particular time period. So I'll just edit this and I'll say Alan and I had 36. I'm only going to use let's say 20 of these for the students coming in tomorrow and it's going to be in the IT office so I kind of give FYI to other people where this cart will be and how many uh, resources I'm using in that cart so there will be you know, if it's 36 and I'm taking 20 there's 16 Chrome uh, books in there that could be used for another teacher if they're here down on this first floor that want to borrow it borrow some of them and I'll just put that there and I'll say this is demo because this is live so demo tests here and there you go you just put your information in there so basically who are you how many you're going to use where you're going to be and click on send or save sorry and uh, that displays right there 
let's say I want to go to the library because we have a lot of teachers that want to book the library and the librarian for a period of time so let's go down there remember what we did we went to the hamburger menu we clicked on it and we say we want to display this only and let's say we are thinking about what would be a good day let's think of uh, March the 5th period 1 I want to send my class down so I just left click on period 1 P1 the edit button and I'm gonna say here uh, Alan and uh, I'm gonna book let's say 14 computers uh, for IT training so I'm gonna have some students down there for some IT training and I'm gonna put demo here so this is inform teachers that this is a live demo <laughs> okay and then click on save perfect that is how easy it is to um, book resources here at SCAS through the Google Calendar if you have any other questions or you have suggestions for your tech moment, please let me know here in the IT support office down on the first floor near the auditorium or just simply email me at Alan Thompson. Okay, have a fantastic day.